Hello everyone, I'm Devin with True Devin Gaming, and today we're doing another session of Balloon Sour Defense 6. Today we're going to be attempting the Daily Challenge and the Advanced Daily Challenge. So, first off, the Daily Challenge is Drowsy Unicorns Challenge. It's on the card map. For those who don't know, that's the one that looks like a pumpkin. It's hard difficulty, uh, standard, so nothing extra will sit on that. We allowed a hero, uh, Captain Churchill, and we're given uh, five different towers, up to five uh, tier fives. This does include some strong ones, so this looks like, and a farm, and a farm. So this looks like we will be able to do this challenge for a decent length of time. Uh, with that being said, uh, let's get this started. My usual goal for a daily challenge when I have a heal option is to get the heal out as early as possible, usually in round one. But because of how expensive Captain Churchill is, he is not an option for a while. And once he becomes an option, it'd be better for us to get uh, a farm before him. So we're going to be not focusing on Captain Churchill for a bit. Instead, let's get our first boat down and let's get ourselves a sniper as well let's put the sniper in a spot that no other tower can use and let's get this started like usual our challenges that we're going to do during these daily challenges are as followed uh, our first challenge is to beat the challenge the beat the daily challenge which is beat around 55 that should be easy for us a second challenge is to beat round 100, so beat the first BAD. With the towers we have available to us, I believe we can do that. Uh, then our third challenge is to see how far we can actually get with the limited tower options we get in this challenge. So let's see how far we can go. I believe these two can handle for a few waves, so let's get our first farm as soon as we can. 12, 2, 5. Nearly up to enough to get us first farm. Oh, we do have powers available to us, so we could cheat to get us just a bunch of money immediately, but let's not do that. Instead, let's get a farm out. Before I even start this, I will be using uh, monkey farmers or banana farmers because they are extremely convenient. Now that this is going on, uh, the first one I want to get for upgrade for this boat will be Grape Shot. Because Grape Shot rapidly increases the, <coughs> the popping power of the boat. Faster shooting doubles it essentially, while Grape Shot just raises it like by a huge amount. While that's going on, let's get increased production here. We're going to get ourselves quite a few uh, farms. Because we have a lot of room that we can place farms, so why not? Right now, things are going smoothly. We got our farm to a 200. We're going to get it to a 220 before we get to the next farm. And we're up to round 15. So at this point, our next, our actual first worry we're going to have is round 24, which will be camos. With that being said, we can deal with camos quickly just by upgrading either of these two to get camo detection. Yet since I mentioned Let's just do camo detection right now. 
I bet that you target camos first. And now we'll be safe for round 24. Let's do faster firing for you. As you see, we are having issues of balloons now getting a bit farther. Our popping power isn't amazing yet. So we're going to increase that. And my first thing we're going to do, we want to get rid of the lead possibility. We have lead popping power now on our boat. And let's include faster shooting. This guy will not be able to hit camos at all. But with that being said, He's gonna be able to do. He's gonna be able to deal a lot of damage. So we need to save up three thousand two hundred for the banana plantation. But before that, I'm gonna actually save up for Captain Churchill. There we go. Let's place Captain Churchill in a good spot for him. The center of everything. Laser bomb, what next? Overdrive. Now we have Captain Churchill, let's get ourselves the next farm. And immediately upgrade it. Once again, we're going to get this one to 220. It looks like we're going to need to increase popping power of a uh, sniper. When gets sh shrapnel shot, which will increase uh, popping power when the balloons are together. Let's see. Let's get ourselves a third farm. And you know what order I'm going to do this one, of course. 2 2 0. Okay, we have a few rounds and uh, just four rounds until our first Moab. So we need to get some Moab popping power in here. You were not going to be able to help with that. We're going to have to focus on our Buccaneer for Moab popping power. Which for us is going to be getting 4,800 saved up. It's, once we get this upgrade, our next focus will be up actually getting uh, tier 3 farms. Here we go. Now we have the ability to take out the Moab that we're gonna see in a few in a few rounds. Oh, one round. Type seven threat detected. It's been taken out and we can actually upgrade to a banana plantation. We're going to be getting another banana plantation in here as well. Just going to get four banana plantations in this area. Okay, looks like Captain Churchill all you can deal with is camos, so that's good. There's three banana plantations, let's get ourselves one more. If that one's within range. Our income is now steadily increasing. With that being said, our popping power is still too low. Once we get to around 50, we'll have an issue because we cannot just pull away two uh, Moabs in one round. What's your range? Can't fit one there. So let's place this one outside range. 
And now we're going to do a first, uh, non, uh, top path banana farm. There we go, central market. See, what else do we want to do? Oh, I feel like it's time to get ourselves some more popping power. Going with more molar, heavy bombs, a two sweet video. Gonna need to put a few of those. By doing this, I'm not going to be worried about Moab's for a bit. Thanks, sir. Let's just get ourselves some more money. I like the marketplaces since you don't have to actually care about them. And now for this one, let's get ourselves semi automatic Since we need more camel popping power. We're about to reach our first goal. Right, let's get to here. There we go. There we go. Another zero two three. And let's get full auto. Here comes the last round for this challenge. The basic part of the challenge at least. There we go. Victory for us. Now we'll be continuing. Before we actually continue, uh, let's mess with some money. But each one of these is 5,000. We want to get a big boost in money. So let's sell some of these. Two. Three. And get ourselves a better research facility. And then with the leftover, place down another uh, farming range. We're going to do that till we get all four of these up to banana research facilities. Let's just place all four right now first. Okay, I'm going to turn off auto start because I feel like I'm not earning the money I need to be earning right now. Overdrive. Yep, so some range. Let's upgrade these. And we'll go to the next round. We want to get all these up to the research facilities, which means we're probably going to be selling these again. The next one, we're about to face our first BFB, which of course that means literally nothing to us because of this. This one ability will deal with it. Okay, it's 20,000 for the next one to eat, but we go 16 down for the next central market. Uh, oh, let's press play. Pick you. Right. To the next round. We're not going to actually sell these, we're just going to save up for it. Seems like the better option to me. Get all these up to tier 4s. The central market. Round 63, the one that's about to come up, is a round where we have a huge amount of uh, balloons coming out at once. Three times. It's going to be three rushes. To deal with that, let's get ourselves another uh, bomb shooter. And this one will be bottom path. Pass the reload. And let's have it attack close. Will help.
AoE is very useful against bomb rushes. Get this one to fit. There we go. Two of those should be good enough for now. And now to go back to saving money here. The reason why I want to get these, even though we can't have these reach tier 5 with these fun, is because they actually give us extra lives. And well, of course, extra lives aren't the most important thing, but they aren't not important. Type 7 threat detected. Okay, I have six and down, so I can get the next central market. If I end up with anywhere between 16,000 to like 20,000, but under 20,500, I will be getting the next one to central market. If I end around with 20,000, I'll go for one of these instead. That's just how I'm deciding on it. Seems like I'll probably be ending this round in the 20th hour range. So let's get the next banana research facility. So far this is going so good. If I sell this, 19,000, 19,000, and 21,000, that adds up to around 60,000. So, if I save up to 40,000, I can sell three of these and upgrade to, oh no, I'm going to need a bit more than 40,000. Let's just get another banana research facility first, though. But yeah, I can sell a bunch of these and can just jump right up to Banana Central. Right now this is around 80,000. So let's see if I can do this. And get us some money. Get us some decent amount of money here. Let's sell some farms. Okay, we still need uh, at least 3,000 more. So let's sell this one. That I want to still be gaining life. There's a banana central. And let's place some farms back in here. There we go. Let's get this one here. And this one here. You're upping these to bottom path, of course. And the one above to top path. We're not earning cash as fast as I want to yet, but we will. There we go, and let's just press play. We should be able to, be able to get these all to CS3s. Good. 
And now we'll go for tier fours for all of them. I know like, it might seem a bit excessive to be going for that many tier four. But in my opinion, the more money we have, the more things we can get. And after all, we need to afford super mines here. Overdrive. Okay, they got way too far on that one. Looks like I should actually start placing now more popping power related towers. Starting with, let's just get a sniper down here. Let's give it camo detection, and we'll have this one be our top hat. With main Moab. This entire time we've been kind of avoiding using the top paths, and that's the only ones we have tier 5s available for. Just want to mention that. We've been avoiding using the most important ones for us. Okay, do we end this round in 16,000 or in 20,000 range? I'm guessing it'll be more in the 16,000 range than the 20,000 range. Yeah, so central market it is. Okay, I'm back. See this? Immediately you can get... Oh, can't get... That shit. Light speed, ultra, mega strike. Boss attack stance. Here, central market. Yeah, I feel like now is the time for us to start focusing on some popping power again. In particular... Let's get ourselves... Let's get you here. Give us camera detection. And we're going for a carrier flagship for you. Let's just continue. Let's get ourselves a carrier flagship. We are very close to having an issue because in right. 8 rounds we're going to have DDTs come here and when the DDTs come we're going to need camo lead popping power, a lot of it. We don't exactly have a lot of that. We have enough, so let's get ourselves a farm. We'll save up for the next farm, but once we have this, that's all the farms we're doing.
Consider we got 20,000 or more than 20,000 in this one round. We should be able to save up to get exactly what we want when it comes to these guys. I'll place Boss you here. It. And just place a few. These two will be two, four zeros. The one above it will be a five, two, zero. The five, two, zero is going to be the one that deals the most damage without doubt. It's 162,000 we have to save up. Uh, once we finish round 89, we'll see how much we have and decide what we go ahead and buy. Fifty-two thousand. This is going good. Okay, one more round, and then we'll see how much money we have saved up, and what we can actually buy with it. Okay, with 75,000, that's enough to buy a Bloom Crush. That's enough to get ourselves Cripple Moab. And this one can see uh, Camel, so that's good. But what would be the best way to spend the money? I'm leaning towards... Let's just see how this round goes first. I'm going to be pressing these abilities. Type seven threat probably. Oh, Overdrive. never mind. I don't have to. If that's how it goes, with the amount of money we just earned in that round, I think we can wait to the next round of DDTs. And then just buy ourselves a Super Mines. Sentai style. There we go. Let's get the next one. We're earning money at a rapid rate. Sentai style. Hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves some super mines before... What's it called? Uh, before we actually need them. Okay, so we need 19,000 more. We will be able to get that within this next round. Question is, can we survive against the DDTs without super mines yet? And from how quickly they were taken out before, I think we can. So let's go. Type seven threat detected. Yep, DDTs were taken out quite easily, and we can get ourselves some super mines. With super mines there, Sometimes I can say for nine. sure we have beat round one hundred. So now next thing is to get our other two tier 5s. This one will be first, Cripple Moab. Style. We just have to save 36,000. Let's go, and we'll almost immediately have this. There we go, Cripple Moat. Very useful for us. And here comes way too many DDTs. But what are they going to do against Super Mines? Okay, and now our last uh, tier 5 that we need to get is the Bomb Shooter. 
which I'm going to place right here. If there's anything though, is that I want to do faster reload for this bomb here. Because attacking faster is much better than a slight increase in range. And it did give us an increase in range anyway with the missile launcher. Now we need to save up 56,000 for a tower that honestly is probably the least impressive of the tier 5s that we have. But it's still a good one. Here's about 97. We officially have all the tier 5 that we can have. So the only thing left for us to do is to spend money on Captain Churchill here. Just gotta save up money a small bit. He's at lower 16. see what level he is at the end of this round before we actually spend our money on him. Okay, 6,000? Sure. All right. He's down level 17. He's getting to level 18. And here comes round 100, the BAD. I don't expect much of an issue here. He is being destroyed. He's being damaged very quickly. And he hasn't even reached Supermind. That tells us we're going to be good for a while. There we go. We beat round 100, so that's our second I'm challenge ready. we finished. Time to go for the third challenge, which is seeing how far we can reach. With our daily challenges, the way I usually end up losing is against either the fortified BAD on round 140, or to a rush of fortified Moabs and fortified DDTs. With that being said, uh, I'm predicting more of us losing to the rush rather than to the fortified MOA, oh, fortified BAD. And then besides that, another thing, I do not like just spamming towers everywhere. Once we have the maximum popping power of, or we, once we have all the tier 5s we can have, I'll put a few extra tier 4s, but I'm not going to go overboard with them. Like you're not going to see snipers covering the entire board. That's not that's not actually enjoyable to go and do that. That's just struggling for an extra round or two. So we're going to see what round we can reach without going overboard with towers. Also, you're going to reach to round 20 yourself very quickly. I'm gonna make these more of assassins. Okay, with me saying that I'm not going to go overboard with them, I am going to place wait, uh, bomb shooters up to here. Bomb shooters to here. And uh, spike factories up to here. Okay. 
There you go, that's the spike factories. Yeah, that's your bomb shoes all the way up to here. And then bomb shoes this way. Then they, these guys are not going to matter too much. This one is going to be a bottom path. He's going to be a uh, middle pass. And these are going to be middle pass as well. We've run out of money for now. So let's do one round. See how much money we get for this time. Let's see, we have one top path, one bottom path, we don't have a middle path, so let's just grab one of those and place up here. Style. And yeah, at this point, I believe it's right for me to... Just let the game run. So, time for us to put on auto start and let the game run. Let's just see how far we get. It's that simple now. We have our Captain Churchill up to level 20 now, so that's good. So, uh, if anyone's watching this, please let me know what round do you think will last to is this setup. Style. I'll also add in, we're not going to be pressing the abilities. Unless it's a round that we're obviously going to win, but it's just going slow. Then we'll do it. Sentai style. Uh. You know, it's at times like these that I remember. I wish there was a fast forward option that was faster than the fast forward that we have. Like in race events, it's the. Now we skip round, but start next round doing the same one. Just continue. Start the next round. But then, I like that. I like that a lot. I wish there was something somewhat similar to that in just standard. Uh, standard gameplay. That would let us just skip until the next one. Or as a, a button that moves us faster than fast forward does. Sentai That's one style. thing I really do want.
Oh, here's a rush of fortified DDTs. See, this is the reason why I said the f I think we'll lose to a rush, not to the f actual fortified BAD. Because they were able to get to a lot of the spike mines. And we're going if we want to end up losing, they're going to have to get to all the four or five. Uh, they need to get to all the spike mines. Twice. So, yeah. Uh, just have patient wait for these guys to be done. Right, let's use some abilities to see speed this round up. Turbo damage, light speed, ultra mega sentai style. There you go, that sped this round up. They were just stuck there for a bit. Okay, I'm just waiting for the next round where it seems like the ZMGs just stay still and I use the abilities to make them move again. And that's here, right? Yep, yep, it's here. Let's just get through this. I 
now they're moving again. Okay, the rush of DTs. Fine, get through. At this point, I am a bit bored of this challenge, so I want to actually lose. But nope, they weren't able to get through the super mines like usual. Oh, they got to the supermine the first time. So, Russia fortified DDT stood good there. Here comes another rush. Let's see if they can get through. No, they cannot. Oh, there's some fortified DHPs as well. Ah, there goes round 130. Just have to wait and be patient. Now to make this go a bit faster again.
And they stopped, so let's go for it again. Jeez. <sighs> there isn't much for me doing this. Just waiting. It's honestly the issue is streaming BTD6 when you do late games like this. You can either be talking about the game and then run out of things to talk about, or you can be talking with other people. I didn't have anyone else to talk to yet. And yeah, right now stuff to talk about with the game right this second. Let's just do this because they stop. Doesn't seem like they're stopping right this second. Right now. Oh, they're still getting dealt with. Hey, four or five DDTs, come on. Let this be a rush of four or five DDTs that can get through. Oh, 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 come on, come on. Squad, emergency. We lost some lives. We lost some lives there. Come on. Get through. There we go. Finally. I know it's odd to be happy to lose, but yeah. We lost around 138. Let's do a quick recap of these. Of course, uh, all these, the one that earned us most of our money, will be here. 553,000, just to confirm. Yep. The only tier 5 we had, of course, made the most amount of money, for obvious reasons. Of course, we can compare it to here, where we got 3,600 since we weren't using the ability. Now, as far as popping power, I'm pretty sure it showed already that you were the monkey star with the most amount of pops. Uh, but let's check it. 4.4 million. Let's try these. They don't even reach half a million. This one reached about 800,000. So that's good. Oh, these guys actually did very good. Each of them. These bomb shooters did very good. This one. Well, what can you expect? It wasn't exactly given much room to actually attack. Let's go. Churchill. Not bad. These guys are farther along the path, so of course they're not doing as good. Here's the one. How many pops did you get? 1.5 million. Honestly, it seems like you're not worth it, but at the same time, without you, it wouldn't have lasted anywhere near this long. So, yeah, but of course we already got this world. The monkey star was here. 4.4 million. Uh, there we go. So that being said, let's move on to the advanced challenge. Let's see how this one goes. The Great Eight. Started round 38, just got beat round 38. 
Let's just see what comes to here. White balloons, pinks, leds. And we have actually a decent amount of lives as well. And zebras. Are we given this amount of money? Why are we given so much money? It's not you. We get two towers that we can place down. We need to have lead popping power. I need to check this one. If this is honestly my thought, Spike Hope not going to help, but Crossbow might be good. But you're allowed to get. Yeah, so let's do Hard Thorns. And yet, yeah, let's do two of you. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, popping power is nowhere near enough. But what if we just place you at the back? And we still need some lead popping power. Uh, best I can think of, be having you. We'll have you target strong. Let's try this out. Uh, balloons are passing by, that's for sure. Yep, though we did get very close, oddly enough. Just you weren't doing good enough. So what else is there? Let's try. Let's try crossbow and see how well. Why did I place you there? That's a bad spot for you. Let's do crossbow here. And we'll do quick shot because that's a better option for them. You're losing much quicker here. We need something that can take out the ceramics, so... Yeah, let's go with you. Middle path, bigger blast. Let's also put you at the end. I feel like you were doing decent, at least. Yeah, that's not working either. Uh, what's a good pair up?
But let's get you here. Did they have to remove these? Oh, this is actually doing decent here. Uh, balloons are definitely getting by, but... We win more pops than I thought we would. Yeah, we did lose here. I'm at a bit of loss, so I'm gonna look up the video. Okay, so just from the thumbnails, the video is telling me it was you here. And then I guess you here, middle path. I'm not used to using middle pass textures. Let's see. Oh, you can't sell, so we just have to trust that this works. Maybe we should put this in a better spot. Got 40 lives. Yep, one of those took all of them. So let's actually see what this person did in the video. This is Ethan Reed uh, I'm watching. Okay, so we put one here. And he put one here. This one would be middle path, top two. This one is top path, bottom two. Let's see. How old does this go? This is Zach said that. Oh, this is going very good actually. And each of these took about a hundred, so it's still lost. Huh. He ended up with 209 lives left over, and then and she get one. Let's try this again. Top path. More attacks. That's your bottom path. Oh, no. Let's try this again. Because apparently this is the way to do it. Need to end up with...
Yay. Okay, sort of was 209 lives. How many does he actually lose? So Is this trying to say that you have to actually manage to pop every single balloon besides a Sphamix? Yeah, it looks like that. Have to manage to pop every single balloon. There we go. This one's a 2 3 zero. Let's see the exact positioning that uh, Ethereum did. Yeah, it's okay, he went a bit farther down with this. Directly dead center, and then around he here. This one's top path, who's there, and now let's go. And we lost. Have to actually manage to kill, pop every single balloon. And we lost again. How is this supposed to be even possible? Even following a video, it's... Uh, but let's see another video from someone else. This is... Theo Cabal, or something like that. Okay, they put in the same position as our middle path. They put the what do you call it? top top path here. This is top path now. Okay. And he went this one here. Oh, we shouldn't have been going three, we should have been going this one. Are we smart? Let's see if this one works. But that actually makes me think. Maybe this guy was doing this instead. Uh, check this again. He does top path. Yeah, he did top the middle. So I've been doing the wrong upgrades for Ethan Reed's video. They did middle and top for here. Okay, now this is working. And now it's not working. Cannot let a single one go by.
Come on, please actually manage this time. I don't want to have to continue this over and over again. Yes! Come on. There we go. Ah. Took a while. It took a while to go ahead and figure this out, even with watching a video on it. There we go. We finished the daily challenge, drowsy, drowsy unicorn challenge, and we finished the advanced challenge, the great eight by fortified bat. So that being said, that will be it for today's uh, YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I enjoyed playing, and I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.